गाइस दिस इज सोनाली द मेलोटोमेटिक बुक वॉम वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम हियर टूडे विद अ बुक रिव्यू ऑफ अ बुक दैट आई रेड क्वाइट अ वाइल गो इट्स बिन क्वाइट अ फ्यू मंथ सिंस आई रेड इट बट आई आई न्यू आई हैड टू डू अ बुक रिव्यू ऑफ दिस आई हैड टू शेयर माई थॉट्स अबाउट इट इवन इफ दे आर वेरी स्मॉल एंड आई थॉट येस आई एम गोइंग टू गो अहेड एंड डू इट द बुक आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इज Fierce Fairy Tales by Nikita Gill. I read this book in July. It was my last read of July, and I am still in awe of this. And I'm kicking myself as to why I hadn't read it until then. I mean, I know since I read this, I've also read Great Goddesses, the latest Nikita Gill release, and that is equally amazing, if not more. And as to why I did, hadn't read it until July, it's because I got this book in June. and then i it took me 2 months to actually pick this up because i'm an impulsive reader and i was like i need time to read this i need time to read this i need time to read this it's like that but when i finally read it i found that this is the kind of book that is so amazing that it fills you with warmth and it makes you cry in public places and it makes you want to you know hug it and always carry it this is that kind of a book for me this year last year it was i think a man called uwe and uh, the book thief what do i say about a book that takes fairy tales that are as old as time and gives them such strong twists and you know turns them into such amazing stories with such amazing results which is exactly why this video is not a review but it's sort of a narration of the emotions that i went through as i read this one i was sitting in a cafe when i started reading this and uh, i just wrapped up some work so i thought i really excited about reading this one so why not pick this up and go ahead and start reading it and i even went on twitter and started gushing about you know starting to read this one and that went on into a thread that still does not encompass the you know the emotions the feelings that i went through as i read this book i was only four pages into the book and i could feel myself choke up then i was 10 pages into the book when i thought okay now i know what's coming like i need to be prepared i know what is coming 20 pages in and i had shut the book and i was staring off into the distance for a moment or two or a hundred because I needed to absorb the impact of all that the book was doing to me. It was also at around this point that I simply sat there feeling the tears prick my eyes and blinking hard and fast to prevent them from falling and I don't want to look like an idiot crying in public over a book but I, I, that's not a bad thing I feel like but still but how could a book have such an impact on me was it because these tales were so beautifully written was it because of how nikita gill flipped the fairy tales the stories that we know or knew and brought out new better more amazing versions of them was it because of the you matter girl narrative that is threaded throughout the entire book was it because of how uplifting and compassionate these tales are or was it because i was simply not prepared for the brilliance of this book and i say that it's a combination of all of these four qualities it's a very potent combination of all of these four qualities and i absolutely love it this is what i live for be it cinderella or sleeping beauty or snow white or rapunzel or even the witch from hansel and gretel every girl has you know a hidden story a hidden story that has so much strength that it made me want to you know curl up hug the book to myself and just cry my eyes out and if there was a chance for me to, to read this book again for the first time i really really would i would grab it with both hands because it's that this book isn't just a book it's an experience in itself an experience that tugs at your heart rips it out shatters it into pieces then tapes it back and puts it back again and i don't think that there's a book that i've read in a long time that you know can hold a candle to fierce fairy tales if this is that amazing and you know what i wish for that little girls get to read books like this one that show them what feminine strength really is while being compassionate that's a day however far in the future it might be that i actually live for i don't know if i will see it but i hope to see it and that's that's what this whole book is about of hope of the future by reliving fairy tales As you can see by this video I've become an ardent fan of fierce fairy tales and I would enthusiastically recommend this from the bottom of my heart from the very very depths from the very bottom of my heart please 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 go read this one please go read this one this is amazing and uh, I I'll just say just go read it please I obviously gave this a full 5 out of 5 stars no question about it
So those were my thoughts about Nikita Gill's Fierce Fairy Tales. I love this book. Have you read this? Do you want to read it? What are your thoughts about this book? Will you be going ahead and picking up this book after watching my video? Please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to buy this book after watching my review, my video, then please do use my Amazon affiliate link that I leave in the description box below. The price remains the same for you, but I get a small commission off of every purchase that you make. So please help a creator out. If you like this video, please like it and share it to spread the word. And if you like my content and would like to see more from me, don't forget to hit subscribe and click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button to get notified as and when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, keep reading, keep watching and add melodrama to your life.